Hey guys, I'm Shark back playing mathematically correct set top. We all know, you know, the set that's basically known for legit 1000 damage W. So like usual guys, if you enjoy, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Those are the runes we took. I accidentally, my, my secondary didn't save, but conquer, triumph, the clarity, last stand. Uh, I meant to take those unflinch and then bone plating, but they didn't save. So yeah, those are the runes we have, and then right there, and in this lane, we're playing against Darius. Pretty medium difficulty matchup. Yeah. Darius is one of those lanes. Typically against a lot of bruisers and tanks, you, your level 1 is extremely strong since you pull them in and you can hit him with a couple of autos, but Darius... His level 1, depending on what he started with, gives him quite the advantage. If he can just, like, get his passive off, which is 5 stacks, he'll outtrade us. So I'm just going to get shoved in, wait until level 3, and then we'll start clapping back. But yes, as we all know... Okay, he started Q, that's fine. You can go for a mini trade like that. But eventually he has to crash under my tower. We all know mathematically correct builds originated from Ross Boom Socks. And this is one of the builds where once it's... Once it was... Damn. Once it was shown. Oh, I should have flashed. Well, I don't even. Nah, I wouldn't have killed. If I fl if I W flashed, it wouldn't have killed. Because my bar wasn't stacked. But we caught him going for a greed play. There we go. And he doesn't have TP, so we could slow push it. Yeah, as soon as he came out with it it was originally a meme but then it turned out to be the meta over strider breaker since how his w actually works we're gonna have to help our uh, jungler here how it synergizes with it uh, guess still fighting for scuttle i mean i'll be here not the move I gotta crash it and then reset using Q as an auto reset we'll just crash it and then reset Evelyn can't or Shivana Shivana can't really gank up until level six so I'm not really too worried about dying and the build is basically max HP set so it's gore drinker Stark's gauge Titanic. And then Warmox. Maximum W damage. The wave is slow pushing towards us, so... Actually, what we can do now is TP. So that way we can thin out the wave even more. Oh my god, the second part of my Q didn't go off. That is so saddening. But it's fine. We'll be able to set up a freeze. And have XP advantage. Oh, he started- he went cloth armor? He's building towards ninja tabai. That is the most insecure thing to do. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but like, ah, I guess it's probably the smart move anyways. Yeah, I'm just going to freeze it and have a level lead and XP lead. My Evelyn can gank top when she hits level 6. Yeah, I'll be chilling on this freeze. Hopefully beat him to level 6 and then go for the all-in. Yep, yep, yep. 
Okay, he missed the Q. Now I can go for the E. E into extended trade. Hit him in the middle. Gotta hit him in the core. Basically, my goal is just to hit level 6. So that way I'm guaranteed to all in. He's level 4. Is it because we went for the freeze early on? Now we can combo him up here. Ah, could have W'd, but I didn't want to risk missing it. <laughs> Yeah. Ulting to it. Ulting to take extended long trades. And it's literally because we froze the lane for so long. We were just that far up in XP. So now what we can do is crash the wave under tower. Bounces back to us. And then we can freeze it again. This time it being a lot better since we'll be so far ahead in resources. Ooh. All right. I could go plated. Should I? Ah. Iron spike whip's too good of a buy not to get. Yeah, he's trying to crash it. It's a cannon wave, so I think it'll be right outside of my tower. <laughs> Oh, we'll play it on his part. Okay, it crashes. Nice wave clear. Am I recording? Alright, I am. Yeet. Got him. He has ult, I don't, so I don't really want to take extended long fights. Since as soon as he gets six stacks, it's very likely... Okay, he missed his Q. I'll be the one to die. All right, the wave is reset. This is good. Get a ward here for just... Oh, Shavon is bot side. Nice. want to actually fight him here. I have a level lead, so I know I win. I'm going to ult him away from his tower. Hit him with one of those. Yeah, it's because Shavano was bot side. I went for the all in. But, yeah, he used flash earlier. So we were guaranteed a kill. Now we just crash. Uh, he has no TP, so we can get a tower plating. Maybe even two. Yeah, two. Because we're playing set. Q's are auto reset and we deal tremendous amount of damage. Gonna reset, get. Plated? Yeah, plated's a pretty good buy. Plated's a really good buy in this lane. They have a S Ash Sona. Hmm. I'm looking to see if they might. Uh, I feel like these are one of these games where you can't really look at who outscales. I mean, Sona scales so hard, right? Mid to late game. And hit him with a mathematically correct W. Get him there. Because we, try, we we let our W stack all the way. There's no chance. No shot. He was going to win that. Even without our ulti. I'm just going to clear this. Oh my. Riot Games. I think they nerfed their, the AD ratio on it. Like actually. The Gore Drinker nerfs? Was it Iron Spike Whip? No, no, okay. It's not Iron Spike Whip, whip nerfs. It's uh, Gore Drinker nerfs. It was the 80 ratio. 
did some changes to it. But it's fine. Yeah, we crashed the wave. It bounces back to us. It's top lane. The lane where it's all about XP lead, CS lead. <laughs> and wave management. Mid lane, you could just shove and roam most of the times. Do that. Like, just AFK do that. Post 6. And honestly, ah, you're good. Right, I'm going to try to EM in for a long trade. He has no ulti. So that's pretty massive. Oh, damn. It's fine. Reason being, if I hold the wave here, he just gets denied so much. So me getting the kill, it might not actually be worth me just dragging the wave out and zoning him. Yeah. Nice E. There we go. Now we'll just let the wave bounce back out to us and rinse and repeat since he has TP. Oh, this is great. What I can do is just leave the wave like this. Recall Biden TP. But I won't have enough for Gore Drinker. I guess I'll wait for it. Shivana can't gank us. That's the good news. Leave the wave like this. We'll be fine. And A-OK. -okay. Come on. Oh, he's crashing it. I should have known. I have Gore Drinker so I could fight him here. Guess what we're doing? Dragging out the wave. Use my Q for the movement speed. I still miss? No shot. I have no ult. So, in a 1v1, it's... There's a possibility he might win. Oh no. Mathematically correct W. Mathematically correct set. Oh, the W gave her so much movement speed and I didn't have another charge of W. Yeah. Yep. 400 damage W. How much HP do we have? It's only 400. It's a lot more. Mightier than this as the game progresses. I'll crash another wave before I look for the recall. What I might do? Yeah, I think I will. I'll fight him outside of the tower range. No, okay, I'll get this first tower. But if it was at like half, I'd fight him. So that way he can't even farm. Let's ignore that ward. I think I'm lagging. Just a little bit. Oh no. Mathematically correct W. Using my Q movement speed. Ah, okay, I'm doomed. That shut down for Shavana. I guess I greeted. What I thought she did. Shivana is much more of a poke style mage in a way when she has our, her ult form. Then again, she's like a burst assassin at the same time. It depends on how she plays it. But I thought she cleared her top side, recalled, and was bot side. So I was able to do that. Or I thought I was going to be able to do that. I guess not. I guess we, we could take a rift. We could do a lot. Major lead. Top lane, you get behind, most punishing role in the game. Well, you could say jungle, but 
I mean, you're going to have camps to farm unless you're counter jungle 24 7. Right? I think top lane, you're just zoned. You're frozen on. Unless the jungler breaks the freeze, you're doomed. Like, there's no way you could farm or else you're just dead. And then XP lead is just. Yeah, it's beyond your control. No. Damn. I got a Q movement speed towards him. Is he going to try to Q? There we go. Which probably going to hit him with autos here. Katarina can't kill. Oh. <laughs> hit him with one of those. Now we're on to you. Ah. Uh, I mean, Kiana can take it. I'm the one with no mana anyways. How's bot lane looking? Oh, wow. They actually got shut down. The game's winnable through bot. With our level lead. In team fights, typically on set, what you do is you're going to ult their tank towards their back line. can't kill him without my R. Oh no. Please don't fight me 1v2 because I'll definitely lose. I'm about to ult you. <laughs> Mathematically correct set. Give it up for it. Man, this is fun. Massive W damage. Now I can get Sterex. In the build, you go Titanic or was that Warmogs? I think it's you go either one. Nah, it's Titanic. Has to be. Has to be Titanic. Oh no. Now this is where I greed. This is where I greed. Oh. Help team. Oh my god is mathematically correct set. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This is that W damage. It's like 600 there. And we have Gore Drinker to keep us alive. Even though like the actual active kind of got nerfed. A little bit. For the disrespect, Duncan. Am I actually dead? Nah, I'm good. Yeah, I'll just recall here. Gets. <sighs> Was it Warmogs? Oh, I'm so, I'm tripping. I watched this when it came out. I'm tripping. Like I I should remember. I I watched this when it came out, but it was like three months ago, so I kind of forgot some elements to it. I watched it. It was a pretty cool concept. It was globally known on League of Legends. I have no ult, so I don't want a team fight yet. Your Q gives you movement speed running towards them. I don't have R, so I can't really do much there. Did I not get the cannon? I swear I should have. Yeah. I want to show you the power 
of mathematically correct set. We're not going to take the inhib just yet. Even though we can. It'll help us take Baron. Or have Pryo for Baron, but... Holt. That was so close. Bam! Oh my god, we gotta... Yep. Holt the Ash into their team. Punch him. Bam! Ah, uh, our bar wasn't stacked all the way, so we didn't deal that magical damage, but it's all good. Wow, Shivana actually 1v1'd Evelyn. Maybe she just outfarmed her. Who knows? I think it's Titanic. Yeah, it's probably Titanic. It would just make sense. And then after that, it's War Mogs. Mind if I read? Eh, you probably don't. You don't mind if I read. I'm gonna take Shavana's blue too. I have TP in twelve. Damn, that's a nice R. Get ready for the John Cena. And his name, <laughs> and his name is John C. <laughs> oh man, I only got the slow off on the Ash and Sona. They can't kill me. It's the W. I'm gonna use the Q for the movement speed. Chase him down here. Ah, it's Sona. Almost had enough for Titanic. She's trying to recall, obviously, but. Wait, what? Oh, I was about to say. Imagine if she recalled. But yeah, now we just control everything. We're the powerhouse. Leave that minion. Thanks. Now I can do this. I have red buff auto, so in theory, he shouldn't run away. Bam. Mathematically correct. Double kill. Nice. I'll start building towards Titanic. Or we got Titanic. It's on the War Mogs. Fun times. Wonder if they're getting mad. I feel like Darius would be the most mad out of all of them. I mean, come on, we play League. It's top lane, I swear. Top lane mains, I'm surprised that Darius didn't leave the game. They are the most, like, tilted players. One rule that's the most tilted, and the champs they play make them ego inflated, it's top lane. He's probably saying, stop holding me hostage, go next. All right, we're gonna try to go for it. Woo! Mathematically cur- No shot, I lose this. That was- That was the most beautiful thing ever seen. That W was a masterpiece to witness. But I mean, at this point, they're shoved in. We could just take all their jungle. Take Baron if need be. Control the game. Wherever we want. Oh, unlucky. 
I guess I'll chase him here. Why did I gore drink her? I meant to press Q. Ooh, that was 500. It wasn't even the core. Ah. Yeah, my W wasn't stacked, but you kind of get the idea. I think Kindle Gym's probably more worth, right? More HP versus some CDR. I'll say, I'll say CDR puts our W on a lower cooldown. So we might be able to use it twice within a fight. In Season 12, items aren't really changing at all for AD Bruisers. Because they're already in a strong spot. Um, So yeah, this is basically... Season 12, how to play mathematical. Set. Because it's only AP and tank items that are getting reworked. Can I ult? Can I get into ult range? What am I watching? Wait, no, it's glitched. Oh. It's my bad. I got an assist. Huh, interesting. I mean, I'll TP back. Um. Yeah. Who got my shutdown? It was Sona. She's an enchanter, so it helps their team a lot. Oh, come on. One million years. Pop off. I'll just start split pushing and win us the game through. The side lane. Or a pretty chunky boy. Mao! Oh, I should have gore drinkered. Mid animation of my ulti. Just like that, that sh should be the game. Oh, I lied. Ash is a tough pickle to get to. I have to ult Darius into their backline. Or someone into their backline. Otherwise, we're not touching her. We can't just Q charge. <laughs> Alright, that's beyond that that's besides the point. Um it's probably just drag. Drag into end? Or drag Baron into end? It's Ocean Soul, so I'm not too worried about... Yeah, look at the, the regen. We're good. Shall I? I didn't get it in the middle. I griefed. No! Oh, so close. Come on. Good thing we have minions pushing. It wasn't a full group. That's the problem. If we had our whole team there, we'd win. If we want to just play... Play the safe route, we could just go Baron. Take Baron, use the super minions to end. I'm 
that's what we can do. Because they're just going to be trying to contest the minions in their base. I was watching... Um, I mean, this happened like two days. I think it was three days ago. The... Was it four days ago? I think it was four days ago. SKT versus... Uh, what was it? FPX? Nah, it wasn't them. Dong Wong. Oh, man. So sad. I actually wonder if... Baker's got to be like the Tom Brady of League of Legends, you know? The Michael Jordan. Because... Ha, he needs to win, you know? He needs to win another uh, world title. or <laughs> Yeah, World Series. Yeah, it's a world... Before he can retire. For real. Everyone's like, show maker new faker. Hmm. Man. Show, show maker is good. I'm not gonna lie. They played for mid. Dong Wong played for mid. SKT played for top. And top threw it in game number five with the cannon. Alright. Put them 1v1 and see how they play. Well, okay. That little blank game was uh, a bit out of hand. But... You know, put them in a 1v1 matchup. We'll see what happens. My boy Faker will never lose. Okay? He's the greatest of all time. In League of Legends mid lane. Yes. Alright. Well, yeah, we're just going to run him down with Baron Minions. That should be the game. Like, comment, subscribe. You thought. I'm out. 